Hey, welcome back into Woosh. Um, I know I've been a little sporadic on here the last couple of weeks. Uh, that's because I haven't felt great. Um, my wife didn't feel great. I think she caught what I had at first. So um, that's that's the reason. But I do plan on doing a weekly roundup to, to catch you up on the books that I thought were my favorites during that time period that I haven't been able to cover. Um, and just kind of get, get the channel back on track. But that's not why I'm here today. Um, I'm here today because uh, I went to go pick up my weekly books and I uh, was reminded that this is the month of April and during the month of April my local comic shop which is Nick's Comic Strip the link is in the description below um, I've mentioned them on there I don't know how many times um, they do a lot of great things within the community and one of them happens to be during the month of April they have a 50% off back issue sale for all of these books along the window here um, and what's really, really cool is that for Thursday through Saturday, all the sales of those books will be donated to the Les Garten Foundation for Pancreatic Research. Um, and they're going to do that through Team Zombie Leader. They've worked with them in the past, and I think it's an amazing, amazing thing that they do. Um, and it's a great way to raise some money uh, for an amazing cause. So um, I wanted to put this out there to highlight it so that way hopefully more people go in, partake in the sale, um, get yourself some back issues to fill some of the runs that you're looking for, but more importantly, support an amazing, amazing cause. Um, I think this is at least the third, no, fourth year maybe that I can remember they did, at least three. Um, so uh, it's really, really cool. They do this every year. It's a really great opportunity if you're filling back issues to fill back issues and support an amazing cause. With that in mind, when I went to go pick up my books, I did actually quickly run through some of the back issues. I didn't get to do a full deep dive. I'm going to do that again in the future, uh, pick up some other books and try to fill in some stuff myself. Um, but I did happen to pick up three books that uh, caught my eye. Um, and I kind of wanted to take a second to discuss them and show you some of the opportunities of the books that you have to pick up from the back issue bins. So let's start off with the first one, which is The Vision number four and i left the price tags on these because this is five dollars during the half off sale 250 that's a great deal um and i don't know if anyone's had the chance to read the vision run it is fantastic it is honestly one of the best comic book runs i've ever read um some people say it influenced the wandavision show in some ways um and like i said this is number three from the run so it's not a big major key um, I just didn't happen to own any books from the run, and as much as I love the run, I just didn't happen to own a, an, an issue. So I wanted to pick up a single issue. I thought this uh, cover was pretty good. It's kind of a spoiler if you haven't read it, um, but it's really, really good. Uh, and there's some really cool things about the run. It's it's award winning actually. So make sure if you're looking for a cool cool story on Vision, you want to kind of learn more about him. Um, can't recommend it enough though to to kind of go and um pick up this run and and give it a look but like i said 250 because it's a five dollar book so um amazing amazing deal um the next book is uh captain america number 362 and while i believe 361 is often cited as the first crossbones this is the first real full appearance of crossbones and the first cover of crossbones which is really cool and um it's uh, 361 is valued more than 362 um, but if you're looking for the honest to goodness true full first appearance uh, this is it and it's way more affordable like I said this one again I left the price tag on has a five dollar sticker on it so 250 during this sale you you can't go wrong and and crossbones was really good at least during um, winter soldier they may have done them a little dirty in age of Ultron but um, it's a pretty cool key to have and, and I do own 361 as well um, so I have them both, but for 250, I couldn't, I couldn't pass up picking up this one to add it with my 361, which is awesome. Um, so lastly, <laughs> certainly not least is, um, a book that has an interesting story and it, and it amazes me mostly because I'm not quite sure how the writer thought of this as a storyline or a plot hook. Um, and I, I kind of figured it out when I was looking at some other keys for, uh, the main character, but let's jump into what it is, I guess. <laughs> um, this is X Factor number 39, um, and it says the future of mutant kind, and there's a little baby on the cover. So, as you can tell, if you're familiar, and I showed uh, his first appearance on here before, 
the the onesie this baby is wearing is a Jamie Madrix multiple man onesie. So, what? How does this baby connect back to him? Well, you see, and this is a spoiler, but this book's been out for a while. Um, Jamie Madrix has the ability to make duplicates of himself, and he does that. One of his duplicates goes on to go live this whole separate life, has a baby, which is here, um, and then. Uh, Jamie Madrix happens to find his duplicate and goes to hold the baby. And unfortunately, Multiple Man has the ability to reabsorb his duplicates when he touches them. And um, he absorbs the baby. Yes, I don't know what happened. But he, he has the baby's memories now. I don't know what that amounts to. But the baby no longer is there. Um... And to me, I really don't know who wrote that. Uh, but I probably would not have um, highlighted that as a ability of his. Um, but I found that on Key Collector when I was looking up Jamie Madrick's keys, um, making sure that I can find his first appearance and so on, which I've shown on here before. Absolutely love um, the Jamie Madrick's character from this X Factor run to X Corp run that they had. Um, it was really, really cool and interesting to see how his character grew and evolved. And um, it was really, really cool to see him use his powers in different ways. Um, but I just thought that was such a weird, bizarre, crazy out there storyline that I was like, do people know about this and how it was actually a thing in the books? Because I didn't until I was looking up Jamie Madrick stuff. So, um, I picked it up mostly because I wanted to highlight it here on the channel and say this might be one of the most bizarre storylines I've ever come across in comics, and that's saying something. Um, but again, and the reason was it's a $5 book, because like I said, I left the, the price tag on here. It's $5 during the sale, $2.50. So you really, really can't go wrong. Um, you can find books for basically all interests there for the, during the sale, and, and literally any any superhero there's dc there's marvel there's the indie books uh star wars books are in there so um i'm just gonna plug it one more time and uh, then we'll wrap up nick's comic strip during the month of april has 50 percent off back issue sales all along their window um from thursday to saturday all the proceeds from those sales go to the lust garden uh foundation pancreatic cancer research through team zombie leader so Make sure to go fill in your back issue runs and support an amazing, amazing cause. Um, and until next time, thanks.